Hello, good morning. How are you? I, I pray that you guys um, be blessed today. Amen. And I pray that this word will uh, minister to your hearts and to your spirit. Amen. As you notice, I have no makeup. I have, I'm getting ready to go for my, my exercises. Anyway, um, just wanted to drop a word uh, to you, um, a prophetic word. I just came out of my prayer room with my prayer partner and um, and the Lord began to show us his heart. We we come um, before the Lord and every time we um, come before his presence, we don't come with an agenda. We don't come with a list. We lift everything out. This is strictly led by the Holy Spirit. And those who know me know, know how I I uh, move when it comes to intercession. Amen. Um, as we were just praying in the Spirit and seeking the presence of the Lord, the Lord took me to the book of Ezekiel chapter, thir thir the third chapter. As I was reading and meditating on the Lord, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord began to show me and break things down. He showed me what was in his heart and the concerns of his heart. And that's how we today pray according to his will. But he also gave me a word, a word, a prophetic word. The book of Ezekiel is about Israel, his people. It's about a people who has understanding, who knows what they're supposed to be doing, but they're not doing it because they have hardened their hearts. They have become rebellion. They are walking in disobedience. That's what this chapter is all about. So the Lord has sent Ezekiel to speak to the people of Israel, to his people. And he told Ezekiel, speak, speak. You know, they have hardened their hearts. And so I will place with you, I will give you a spirit that you will stay and speak in the same manner. In the same manner. Speak. In, uh, in other words, do not fear. Sometimes we as prophets and those who have a prophetic anointing, um, we know. Trust me, we know when there's a hard word when there's a word that the Lord gave us to bring discipline, to bring a mission, to bring a blessing, to bring a restoration, to bring uh, refreshing, to bring healing, to bring encouragement, we know, we know, trust me, we know. But there are times when the Lord have to send a word to correct. And those are the times that the Lord has to deal with each and every one of us for correction as well. As a church, God has to deal. The Bible said that he will discipline those who he loves. And when the prophet of the Lord brings that word from the Lord to correct, people don't like it. They get offended. They get offended because they want to hear blessings, they want to hear oh, all is well, I'm going to bless you, everything is love and everything is peace and everything is joy and abundance. I'm sorry, but God still disciplined those that, those that he loved. As he was with Israel in the last time, in, in, the, in the end time, in the old times, let me say it. So is he with us today. 
we ain't different than them. We are not different than the old Israel. We're still his people, we're still his children, and we still need to be corrected. So let me put this out. Amen. But those who have an ear, an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is telling, is saying. Amen. Today, in the prayer room, as the Lord began to unfold what was in his heart, and we began to intercede and cry out to God on behalf of his people. The Lord spoke to us. Yes. To me he gave me this direction this guidance speak this word out speak and that's what I'm gonna do I have to be obedient to him amen I pray that you will receive it with gladness and joy and those who receive it will be and will get restored and they will be blessed in the name of Jesus Hear me well. They will be restored and will be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. The word of the Lord that came to me this morning was that he's about to be to do a shakedown. He's about to do a shakedown in some of the congregations, in some of, um, some of the leaders. If you do not line up, if you do not line up with the heart of God and what he's doing, he's going to do a shake down. Everything that can be shaken is going to be shaken. It is for your own good. It is for your own restoration. God is going to do a shakedown to everyone who is not lining up, who is rejecting what the Lord is saying, who has been rejecting his prophets, who is has allowed their hearts to be hardened, who is walking in disobedience and, and rebellion. And some of us have hardened their hearts towards the prophets of God and to what the Lord is saying. Because you have allowed bad influence to get in the way. And you no longer can discern what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you. Amen. God is going to do a shakedown in your place and you will know that this is of God he's been trying to speak to you he's been trying to tell you you need to change you need to change these things you need to let go of these things you need to get rid of these things because you're afraid of people and you have allowed bad influences you can no longer discern what the Lord is telling you so he's getting ready to do a shakedown God told me to say have them call and fast on their people on their congregation have them call a fast have everyone to fast, to intercede, and repent for disobedience, for allowing religion, allowing rebellion, get in these congregations. He's speaking to the leaders. He's speaking to the pastors. Heal me well. I have to be obedient to the Lord. I have to speak what he told me to say. I'm just a messenger bringing the word of God 
as he gave it to me, I have to bring it to you. It is time for true repentance. It is time for a true repentance. Amen. So I pray that this word will encourage you and the true that you uh, seek the Lord about this and come before him with a humble heart. Amen. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.